Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 1st, 2020. Now, when I was tuning in for this week's message, first and foremost, I was feeling this whole message around sort of quantum timelines, right? And I didn't really understand where that was going, but you know, I just kind of hung with it. And then this morning I woke up in the same world the rest of you woke up in. And it is a world that is on fire. It is a world that is, you know, you're seeing that toxicity, as we've been saying, coming up to the surface, demanding to be heard, demanding to be seen. And this isn't going to be the end of it. This is not going to be the end of it. I started going back over some of the other messages because when something like this starts to occur, I want to see, was there any warning for that? Now, again, the messages were, there's going to be toxicity coming up to the surface. It's, there's going to be a lot of upheaval and it's not just with you know what's going on now but what you know the environment is going to start reacting i've been telling people to be ready for that here through the summer uh and i think you know more and more things are going to be coming up to the surface to be looked at and then we also had all of these messages to stay in your heart to maintain your energy don't don't let these um don't let the way evil is manifesting in this world brainwash you from some sort of story about your worth or uh, that it can't be fixed or that people don't care or whatever. People do care. There are just people out there who are manifesting this evil and trying to push a story on us. So we're in that space and these messages have said, rest, give yourself a break, give your heart a break. And at the time I was like, Oh, well, then that makes sense, right? Because we're going through all this other stuff with our health. And, you know, maybe that will help people stay very grounded and centered and all of that. But it makes even more sense now because when you're well rested and you're remembering that you are a spiritual being, you can be uh, a little more solid so that you can respond and be effective for change, right? Think about when you're tired, overwhelmed, um, it's almost like you're one big bruise walking around and somebody just kind of accidentally bumps into you, you know, you react. So imagine when we have such a serious situation as is going on in the world right now and has been going on in this world. Um, and, and now, sure, people are going to be very, very angry. However, I do feel the message to put out there, not that these people are going to be watching this video, but you all know how energy works. You react with violence, it's not going to go well for you. You react with violence, you're not making any change. As a matter of fact, you're drowning out names that need to be heard. So I wanna lay that out there. I also, again, maybe it was just me being a spiritual person. I just wanna respond with love. Every single one of you, you are worthy. I love you, this world loves you. You are not any less human. Again, don't buy into the psychopath story, right? That stuff is out there for us to be fearful of, for people to feel bad about themselves so that these, so that evil can feed. That's what is happening here, okay? At least my small understanding of it. You are never unloved. Please, as much as we can, guys, try to respond from peace, from love. You can take other action as what I'm hearing. You can take other action. I don't have the answers. I wish I did. But what I'm feeling is that there's other action that can be taken and that there has been quite a breakthrough. Now, this is not going to be very satisfying for a lot of people out there because you don't feel the truth of it. And that's okay. I'm not really feeling it either. I'm a human being and I'm like, well, I guess we'll wait and see what happens. But they're showing that there has been a splitting of our energies and there has been a turn, okay? So there are people who are hearing and seeing and standing up more. I know, again, that people are going to be out there saying, well, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. There needs to be more of this. Um, yeah, the feeling here is that if you stay, it's all the stuff we've already been saying. If you stay in that heart space, we'll be able to make a more effective, efficient turn. Okay? As we start looking at this whole spectrum of every scenario, again, this isn't the last one that's going to come up, I promise you, all right? There are lots of things that are going to be happening in the coming months. That's why you got to remain rested. You got to make sure that you're not getting caught up in feeding 
right? Don't be the food. Don't be the food. And let's be there for one another. Of course, everybody, you must know by now, this is a safe space. You see how I respond to trolls. You see how I respond to haters. I don't tolerate it. And I don't care how they want to give backlash. I just brush it off and keep it moving. But this will remain a beautiful, safe space where everybody is loved. Everybody is welcome. Everyone, you know, you're safe here. Okay. And uh, we, we all know that you're worthy. We're not buying into the story. So there is that. <sighs> There's a big message here. We talk about this a lot too. So protecting the kids and making sure the kids are not being taught to give into the story either. And the story has permeated everything, okay? And this can go across the board with anything that comes up that makes you feel less than a human or anything that comes up that makes you feel like you're in danger. We need to protect the kids. We need because they're coming in here to help us out. We know that, right? And we I know there was all that talk in 2012 about the indigos coming in and saving the world, and that put a bunch of pressure on them and all this stuff. And I'm not meaning to put that kind of pressure on this younger generation, but if you really pay attention to them, they're gonna have some incredible insights. All right. So there's this whole message here of um, protecting their innocence, protecting protecting the kind of adult they would will become so I don't know what that means but also there's a message here of protecting our own inner child and making sure that inner child gets reparented um, it gets the love that maybe you know maybe it needs at this time and I cannot stress it enough we need to be a community here we need to hold each other up and just keep loving guys just try to keep loving as much as you can. I know that the comments are going to be filled with people um, having their say. Please do. Please do. As long as you're doing so respectfully, um, get this off your heart. Get this you know, out there. Say what you need to say. Use this as a platform for you to be able to do that. So as I'm trying to record this, there is noise outside. I don't even know what's going on. But um, I'm going to keep going because it's interesting that this random disruption comes up right and I hope maybe it won't even pick up on the mic because that happens too sometimes it doesn't even pick up you can't even hear it but we're talking about hematite grounding so if we're coming from the pain body and we're not being grounded we're just reacting we're not helping the situation we're actually making it worse all right and when we understand that from a expanded consciousness viewpoint then we might actually start to affect change all right but hematite is also very protective. So if you feel like whatever, you know, whatever existence you're having right now and you feel the need to be protected, this is a very protective energy. You can imagine yourself surrounded by hematite. All right, and then we have agate healthy body. So this is going to really take a toll. Sorry about the glare, there we go. Uh, so agate healthy body talks about maintaining your sense of stability because all this stress, all this anger is just going to make what? A second wave. Do any of you want a second wave? I don't want a second wave. I don't think the first wave was even done. All right, so we need to be focused on not getting ourselves pulled in to the anxiety, but that does not mean, that does not mean that we look away and pretend like things aren't happening because of course they are. I'm talking about people who are bringing evil to the situation, starting the situation with evil and then people trying to react in evil ways. All right, so that's really what it comes down to. That's what we're working against right there. All right, Libby and Gotektite, be careful, it's manifestation, be careful what we are pulling in. This could not be a clear message for this week. Be careful what we are pulling in. If you react from fear, you know, we're gonna have fearful situations happening. It's gonna start manifesting out in our environment. If we want peace, we have to create the peace. We have to create love. We have to give people a voice. We have to let them say what they have to say. When you finally get a chance to be heard, make sure that what you say is exactly what you mean. Make it meaningful. Let people know. Say what is actually in your heart. Okay. And then we have pyromorphate patience. This is going to be a hard one for a lot of people. This is a hard card for anybody who wants things to just hurry up and happen. But this is definitely telling us that the healing is going to take time. The, well, the, we're in the awareness part of it. And yes, this has happened so many times, so many moments of trying to get our attention. 
and here we are again. But the turn that we need to take in the world is going to take some time. And I keep saying this throughout this reading, this isn't it, this isn't it. So make sure you can give your heart a rest when you can. I record the dailies ahead of time. And all of those cards uh, for the next few days are all about get into the flow and synchronicity, find the joy in your heart, find a way to nourish your inner child, okay? Because I think all of this could actually, well, it could produce a lot more wounding for your inner child, okay? So we don't want to go down that road. We want you to be in a good space. I've got the color cards here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Again, please use the comment section, not to be hateful, but, you know, and not to, well, let's just be careful in the comment section, but please say what's on your heart to say. Use this as a place to let some of that out. Again, not the anger and the hate, but say what you have to say, all right? Ah, chaos. I mean, I can't even, I don't know if it's out of frame, but you guys couldn't see, but these cards just don't even want to shuffle. They're all over the place. We're going to pull two of these, okay? Let's see here. Blue, activate your healing power. The number is 37. Reduces to 10, which is 1. I feel like this is like getting back to basics. Being done and starting over, starting fresh. And it has this kind of cosmic feel about it. Activate your healing power. You guys, anybody who's watching this, if you're a sensitive person, you know what it is to truly heal. And you know what you can't carry with you, right? Okay, so activate your healing power. And then we have, this was at the bottom of the deck. I was wondering if this is gonna come out. As I tell you guys, every time when I lift up the deck, I look at the bottom and I'm always curious to see what's gonna come out and here it is. So Violet, create a balanced life. The number is 45, reduces to nine, which is completion. It's a God number. So nine is if you want to carry forward, you need to, well, in the violet flame too, you need to burn up all the negativity, right? Let me make this clear. This is not about turning away and pretending like it's not happening because that is what makes this stuff happen over and over and over and over and over again. People being dismissive. I'm too sensitive to face that. It's your job as an empath. If you're an empath and you showed up on this planet, we're here to heal. We are here to bring light. That's what we're doing here. Okay? So no, nobody gets a vacation right now. Okay? <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying. So the violet flame sort of transmutes. This is Archangel Zadkiel kind of energy and burning up all that negativity. So create a balanced life. Number is nine. Be done with the chaos. Bring in the peace and start with yourself. Start with your own life and creating balance and we'll be here with each other as things unfold in this world to see what we are creating, what are we putting out there, what steps are we taking to heal. All right, again, leave your comments down below. I am sending you all so much love and take care.